What is going on guys, Nestor61 here back with some NHL 12 ESHL gameplay. Like I said in my last video, I'm starting to get back more into the ESHL. I know lots of you guys are looking for that. So more ESHL gameplay will be coming soon. I'll definitely have some more highlights and montages coming. But today we're not going to be talking about the gameplay. Like I said back in my Tony Hawk video, I wanted to make a commentary about the Rick Nash trade and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation, basically from start to finish and how it happened. So I'm going to get into that a little bit. So first of all, basically a background on how this whole thing started is Nash went to GM Scott Housen and basically asked for a trade. However, that was in private and he wanted to keep it away from the media because I think in all honesty, he did want to help the Jackets. He did want to get out of there, but he did actually want to help the team as well. So that's kind of why he kept it on the down low. But uh, at a press conference or something like that, Housen just came up and straight out threw Nash under the bus. And he's like, Rick Nash, our captain, asked for a trade. So, I mean, I think that brought some hostility between them. Because uh, Rick Nash, honestly, he's a good guy. And Housen just kind of threw him down to the ground. And that basically got a lot of the media and fans against Nash. I mean, I don't know why, because you kind of have to understand his point of view, which is he's played his whole career with a team that has not performed well at all. And after every single year, he plays well, and he does a great job at what he does, but no one else around him helps. So that's kind of why I understand why he wants to get out of there. And he wants to be with a winning organization, a winning team. And hopefully with the Rangers, he'll definitely be able to win the Cup. And that's what I'm thinking. Look at their star power team. They are loaded for next season. And I'm looking forward to watching him play there. But um, moving on, I'm just kind of winging this commentary. I've got nothing down. I'm just kind of, whatever comes to mind, I'm throwing it out there. But moving on, I am not going to change my gamer tag or anything like that because I'm a huge Rick Nash fan in general. He's my favorite player, and because he moved, I'm not going to change my name. Um, personally, I think he's still a great player, a great guy, and I'm just going to tell you why I think he made the right decision in doing this. Let's think back to the LeBron James thing. Um, I know this is kind of a touchy subject for our, our Cleveland guys out there, but... Um, LeBron James was sick of losing, basically. Now, I know this story is kind of a little different because he grew up in Akron and Cleveland area his whole life and then just kind of threw him to the ground as he left there just to join his friends in Miami. But uh, the Rick Nash thing can kind of be compared to that. LeBron James really wanted to win. Rick Nash really wants to win. And they're willing to do anything to get to that. Now, I think Rick Nash did a much better job at approaching this. He didn't go on live TV and, you know, let down his whole city. But the Rick Nash thing, he's trying to help out Columbus and himself, which is what I respect. And I'm glad that we were able to make a trade finally. I know it kind of would have been bad to go into the next season without, I mean, with Rick Nash on the team, excuse me, because... I mean, you can't have your captain not wanting to play in Columbus. I know he would have still tried and stuff, but there's always that chance, and people would look down on him. Like, if he had a bad game, people would just throw him around uh, saying that he didn't want to be in Columbus, and that would just cause a lot of problems. So I like what Rick Nash did, and I'm happy that he found a good team, and the Rangers are definitely a good fit for him because they are going to be a huge Stanley Cup competitor next year. Their defense is amazing. Now their offense is just one of the best in the league. I mean, up there with Pittsburgh and the Flyers and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to watching them. And now I have another team to root for, which is pretty cool. So I'm glad I can root for the Rangers now and I have a reason to root for them. Uh, it's not really bandwagon. You can't really call that bandwagon. I'm just rooting for my favorite player. So I'm going to continue to do that. So uh, summing this up, I'm a big fan of Rick Nash. I'm not changing my username, as many people have asked. And I just support him I was gonna support him wherever he went he went to the Rangers and that is a great team for him I'm happy to see him there and I think he'll fit in perfectly oh yeah I almost forgot that Rick Nash is even keeping his residency here in Columbus which shows just how much he loves and cares for the city and I think that's pretty cool so in summary um, I'm rooting for Rick Nash and the Rangers next year but they're not my number one team I still got to stick with the Jackets through it all and I'm looking forward to seeing how both the Rangers and the Jackets do next season. I'm looking forward to watching them both play. 
And Anisimov and Dubinsky seem kind of excited to be here in Columbus. So hopefully we can have a good season next year. Hopefully the Rangers have a great season next year. And I wish them the best of luck in New York. That's about it, and I'll see you guys later. Put me on, I just want to be the greatest. Spectators, every song on the playlist. All the ladies are played us or hate us. When we're everything they wanted, baby, young, rich, famous. Uh. Yeah.